Here's part 15 of the troop. So Newton went back to get his field guide from whatever was left from the cabin, and when he walked past uh, Tim's deceased body, he respectfully grabbed a sleeping bag from his room and threw it over Tim's body as an act of a burial. A public press release was initiated at 1600 hours on the mainland about the attempted breach of the island that was under a biological uh, containment watch. The military had arrested two men who were attempting to get onto the island. It was Mr. Fay, the, the rich guy from the mainland, and Kent's dad, the, the chief of police in the area. They were attempting a rescue mission on their boys and Kent's son, but unfortunately it fell flat because the military took over and arrested the men and forced exploded the boat that they tried to arrive on the island um, on. She keeps flicking me in the face with her tail. So most of the boys went off to go find the plants to make Kent, you know, induce vomiting so he could throw up some of the worms. Kent remained in the cellar and he looked awful. He looked like he was melting into the walls. Shelly was nowhere to be found. No one could locate the little free. Ephraim went with both Max and Newton to go hunt for plants, but Ephraim was now in full uh, mode of worry. He's thinking that there's worms in his hands, and he keeps rubbing his hand wounds all over his jeans. Little do they know that Shelly was stalking the, the boys around the island, silently watching and waiting. Could you stop that? So as Shelley stalked the boys, he thought to himself about his younger younger years of um, unaliving the local dogs and cats around his neighborhood and the way he felt by taking lives. He really liked the way the desecrated bodies looked without souls after he was done um, doing horrific things to them. I'm going to skip over this particular part because Shelley reflects on unaliving a kitten that his mom had. And it was a really heartbreaking scene of him trying to fill the tub full of water and um, snuffing out the life in this kitten. And it was a very descriptive scene of the kitten's cries and everything. And you don't need to hear that because you're just a baby. Um, he ended up doing, succeeding it and getting rid of the body in garbage bags and the mom would come home every day looking for the cat and it was so freaking sad and she had an inkling that Shelly did something because he's a little freak and he would just look at his mom like I wonder where the kitten is and she's like yeah wonder where the cat is it's been a month Shelly but of course, no one did anything because, oh, he's just a good little boy who would never hurt a fly. So as he's following the boys around, he's like, I wonder what Newton's large body would look like opened up. Um, I wonder what I could do to Ephraim and how it would feel to off a human being. Unfortunately, even though he's like not even 10 years old, he was already feeling sexy emotions towards um, taking lives like boner time type of sexy feeling and he's like I want to feel what it would be like to off a human being because I felt really good when I took the lives of animals um, so there was that sort of portion to wanting to destroy his fellow troop members so after he was done following the boys around as they were looking for plants Shelly immediately went back to check on Kent who was still hiding in the cellar Kent was nearly far gone at this point, but Shelly went down there and noticed that Kent had started eating his own body. Like, he was missing fingers, and he was eating into his uh, wrists and arms. So, she ooh, ooh. so Shelly looks at Kent, and he's like, She has my sleeve in her mouth. Oh... So Shelly's like, oh, Kent, you're still hungry? And Kent's just like, yes, I'm still hungry. Oh, you're still hungry even after you ate all of our food? I didn't, didn't mean to. I was just so hungry. Oh, well, 
If you didn't mean to, I'm, I'm sure I could find some food for you. Would you like that? Yeah, I'm very hungry. Hmm, I bet you are. What are you hungry for, Ken? I, I don't know. Anything? Meat? Do you want meat, Kent? Meat. Yeah, I want meat. Okay. I'll go find you some meat, Kent. You stay right here, okay? You're gonna be a good little boy. And you're gonna stay right here and I'll find you some food. Bro went back out to find his friends that he was stalking.